Capcom Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, I am the man on the stick. You're sticks, the sticky boy. And we're playing Monster Hunter World, my baby girlfriend. <laughs> Uh yes. Yeah, I love it, dude. Yeah. That's how we that's how we talk to each other, me mm -hmm. and Monster Hunter. Do you like events? Uh like like Any what do event? you mean? <laughs> do I like events? That's you, too broad. You ever been to a magic show? <laughs> <laughs> no, Jonas, but I would love to. They're delightful. Really? Did I I would love to go to a magic show, dude. I, I went to a uh there's a thing in Austin it's called Esther's Follies. Yeah, I've heard about that. It's like a it's like a skit show um it's not improv it's it's like i think it's scripted and i went and they do like current event skits and things some of it's political some of it's texas based some of it's whatever but like uh i went with my uh ex-wife one yeah. time yeah. and uh it was it was kind of entertaining and at one point they had like a guy came out he did magic he did like a few tricks and things it was part of like the show it was no like uh pen and teller type stuff was it because, like, they're amazing. No, it wasn't quite like that. I mean, it was still pretty good magic, though, if I remember. It was like, this is also, like, five years ago. But um, but what, what's kind of cool about this place yeah. is, like, the, their windows face, like, the busy downtown bar district of Austin, 6th Street. Yeah. So they'll have people in the street behind the windows, like, in the show that add to it. And, like, you'll see people walking down the road and stuff. It's kind of interesting. It's fun to go, man. We should get a group to go sometime. It's interesting. It's not expensive. It's, like, 20 bucks. It's not we need, we need to like come up with an act, Jonas. I'm telling you, man. We need to get this rap group off the ground. Then we could perform downtown. Why don't we just do Crazy Town Podcast live somewhere? And then, and then we'll do improv shows afterwards. The funny thing is, Jonas, is that, you know, like, it's it's almost like a meme that everybody has a podcast. Yeah. And I don't really see somebody saying, oh, boy, I can't wait to see these, this live podcast, guys. Yeah. I mean, we could. Yeah. If you, I mean, we, we'd have to, like... I bet you if we asked Tom from the theater, he'd love to do You think? I bet you we would. We could do some improv stuff with it, too. Yeah. All right. Part we, podcast, part so improv the, show. So at that point, we're just doing we're just doing a show. Yeah. It'll be like it'll be like a whole show. Part of it will be a podcast. Part of it will be improv sketches. Oh, man. I'd be down. It's, I'd be down. it's basically decent in there. We could do uh, Whose Line Is It Anyways, but, like, a real live version of it. Whoa, you're talking about some like, some like 10th level improv. Yeah, dude. It's essentially what we do in our showcase. You get ideas from the audience, you go. Well, we already have a troop, Dennis. <laughs> Why am I on the ground? Yeah, we'll do it with that. Oh, you want to? I'm more than game. I think that we should. Uh, I think we should have been recording. Uh, some of the stuff we've done and putting that up on the channel. Oh, yeah. I mean, with the blessing, of course, of the people involved. Once, once we finish, uh, once we finish level four, and then we have school closes, yeah. we might get together with like, people that we know and the people from that Wednesday class. And then we could all get together and do some big group improv stuff and just record it for the channel. Like, where will we do it at? What are we gonna, we we gonna like, room, we gonna dude. get a venue? We just need a room. Yeah. We don't do it for an audience. We can just do whatever. We can literally just have, like, a bunch of, like, things in a hat and just pull something out and be, like, be, like, cops. And then just go. Just do, like, a two-minute <laughs> skit. See what happens. Uh, I guess if that, if that, if that, that's the dream. I don't really see myself, like, doing professional improv. Well, it's not about being pro. It kind of sounds like it's a kind of like you want to go pros pro. Pros make money. Well, oh, I mean, what, you don't want to make no money? money? We ain't going to make no money. I'm a professional YouTuber. Are I, we? Yeah, hell yeah, Jonas. Oh, wow. I feel like we've been doing this long enough where we're professionals. Yeah, I feel like we can teach someone how to do it. I mean, we could teach them how to succeed at it, but we, <laughs> we, can, <laughs> we can definitely teach them how to do it. That's true. <laughs> I mean, success is, is very subversive, hey, no, subjective. Oh, yeah. I mean, I would say if we were making any money, we would be successful. It's like, hey, have we successfully uploaded videos to YouTube? Yes, we've done that. That we have done. Yeah. We have done that that portion of that. Yeah. It was a successful endeavor. Yeah, exactly. And I think, uh, you know, we've had another three, four years. <laughs> I'm trying to... 
little <laughs> patronize me. If you keep at it there, Tiger. No, if we keep at it for like three, four years, we might, <laughs> we might get to the point where we make 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta like, we gotta do something like off the wall. What is this game? What is happening? We gotta do something off the wall. Something that like uh, drives the viewership up. Like, uh, you should come out of the closet. You should start doing something. Jonas, <laughs> I'm not gonna do not nice stuff. You're gonna come out of the closet. I, there's no closet to come out of. Yeah, but if you did, Jonas, everybody would love but that. But once they found out we were lying, then it wouldn't be so nice. You, well, all you gotta do is not lie about it. <laughs> oh, so I need to do it, even though it's not yes. true, and then just own it for we, the rest of my life. We have to get you a boyfriend. <laughs> Okay. That is what has to oh, happen. Oh, that's simple then. I thought so too, yeah, Jonas. You're not happen. a bad looking guy. We can get you a, <laughs> I'm sure I can get find you one. a boyfriend easy. I can't find a girlfriend, so maybe it's easier to find a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard, Jonas. We'll just, like, there's bars around Dress town. Dress me up, put a little eyeshadow on me. <laughs> <laughs> take me out. Oh put my me God. in a corset. Jonas, would you let me take you? <laughs> no. What do you mean, no? I have self-respect. Dude, I take care of you, all right? Would you? Yeah. You start paying my half of the rent, we'll talk well, about it. <laughs> well, you get out there and make me some GD money, and yeah. <laughs> I thought you were just going to take care of me because you're paying me. Like, I'm go pay. Yeah, dude, but I'm your pimp, so all your money goes to me. And then, oh, yeah, I, I got you. I'll be like, I'll be like I give you a cut. TNT, can I go get some Red Bulls? You're like, no. I get you don't deserve no Red Bulls. No, nah, girl, you can have a Red Bull. I think I'm sorry, girl. See, you're already <laughs> disrespecting me. You're already disrespecting me. We haven't even started. I'm sorry, I do it because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, baby. You know I did. You know I never disrespect you on purpose. <laughs> I do it because I love. I did do it because I love you. <laughs> you know I love you, girl. You, you just do. get me so mad sometimes. Yeah, right. <laughs> you just get me. God, you just you get out there. You just act so crazy. Maybe you freak out. Back, back. Yeah, dude. Uh, I'm good on being pimp, though. No. Yeah. I don't know. It would just not my jam. Like, what if I was like a real hot chick? You know, like a real hot chick with me. Yeah. No. What if she guaranteed that all the women that you're going to be tricking for were uh, like attractive supermodels? I don't think so. I'm trying to figure out is there a world where Jonas will allow himself to be a prostitute under his own terms? I mean, if I thought I was hot enough, I'd probably just do it anyway. Like, no, because then you have to just take whatever winds blow your direction, sir. So if like, so a supermodel came to me. And said, I run a supermodel need some men service. <laughs> and you, we want you to be the men. Supermodel need some men service. And I'll bring you nothing but supermodels and they'll pay you yes. to have coitus with them. Yes. I mean, if that was a reality, yes. my job could be having premarital sex with very attractive women with no commitment for money. <laughs> Right. Is, uh, there All has right. to be a downside so, to this, so right? So you're saying there's a chance. There's a chance. On we'll the next it, episode, big guy. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Tell everybody you know to come see us. And if they do, we'll give you a shout out on the channel for Jonas. And TNT Dynamite. Uh, we are out. <laughs>